Family traditions are built at the table, but they start right here in the kitchen. I'm Chef Robert Irvine, and along with Stop and Shop, together we're gonna to show you how to make memories in your very own kitchen. Today's recipe is a bowl full of goodness with quinoa and arugula and vegetables. It's got a sriracha marinade. You can serve it with tuna, with chicken, with shrimp, anything you want. But it's gonna start with making a dressing that has buttermilk, sriracha, a little higher spice. And you can use chili flakes if you like. You can use um, sambel. You can use anything that's got some heat to it. I like sriracha because it's got great flavor as well as a mild heat. The lemon juice and a little rice wine vinegar, salt and a pinch of pepper. That's how simple the dressing is. Okay, now Quinoa. A lot of people are afraid to use quinoa. And just like rice, it's so simple to cook. We use one part rice or quinoa and two parts of water. Bring it up to the boil, the water. Before we add the rice or the quinoa to that boiling water, we have to wash it. And the reason we wash it is simply because the gluten or the starch if we don't wash it, will come out and the rice will be one block or the quinoa will be one block. So I have here quinoa that's actually been cooked. So I've washed it first, strained it, boiling water on, dump the raw quinoa in, bring it up to the boil, then take it off the heat and let it bloom. And when I say bloom, it's like a flower. This is a rubber irvine bloom. Boop. The quinoa of the rice opens up, accepts all the liquid, and literally you take it off the heat, it continues to cook for 20 minutes, and this is what we have here, cooked quinoa. It starts with a bowl, quinoa, into the bowl. Now remember, this is a cold salad. It can be a hot one. I'm gonna do something a little different. I've got a pan on here that's nice and hot now. I'm taking a little bit of oil, because I'm gonna take little broccoli, broccoli florets, and I'm gonna give them a little singe. So they won't be totally raw, they'll actually be slightly cooked, but warm. And that's the, the heat there, or the, the fire, is just a little bit of oil in the pan. I'm gonna take a little bit of salt. That was pepper. Now a little bit of salt. While that's doing its thing over there, I'm gonna take a little onion or shallot, diced, some tomatoes, grape tomatoes, cut in half. That's all they are, cut in half. Some fresh parsley. And here is an amazing thing from my own garden. I have fresh uh, basil and fresh mint. Fresh mint adds a very different dimension to this salad. And fresh basil. A lot of people say they don't like to um, chop basil, they just pick it. I like to chop it. I want it to, to uh, get all the aromatics, all the, the oils out of it. Into my salad. Now look, this is what, this is what I'm looking for. A little warm, a little toasty, almost, um, there's no oil look. Nice and dry, gives me a little burny kind of flavor. In to my salad. Turn the heat off. Now I'm gonna mix all these great flavors together. Now, my dressing. I'm gonna mix again. Add a little bit to the salad. Mix, mix, mix. Now remember, the heat from the broccoli is gonna warm this salad up a little bit. I'm gonna take a bowl, a little bit of arugula, my quinoa, my salad goes right on top. 
My wife would love this because it's healthy. It's got all the great uh, additives of the salad. It's got some texture. My quinoa. My last bit of dressing. Now, I've got some pistachio nuts. I'm just going to put them right into this amazing little contraption. Break them up a little bit. You see the nuts just roughly chopped right over the top. Now imagine this salad with a seared piece of tuna, chicken, some shrimp. There are no hard and fast rules to food. It really is about what you like. If you want octopus, grill some octopus, saute some octopus. It really is having fun in the kitchen with the ingredients that you have in the pantry or that you can shop for. So there you have it. A quinoa salad with great vegetables, broccoli, tomatoes, onions, a sriracha dressing. Thanks very much for cooking with me today and thanks to Stop and Shop. You can also find more recipes in my book, Family Table. Just head to stopandshop.com slash at the table or show up to your local Stop and Shop, get some great ingredients, stay safe, stay healthy. Until next time, have fun cooking. <laughs>